A spring nor'easter is here, and it promises to bring rain, wind, and snow for some people. Hello, I'm Glenn Jones. And I'm Priscilla Casper. Strong winds could also cause some power outages, something we'll be following tonight. We want to begin with First Alert Meteorologist Pete Bouchard tracking the timing. Hi, Pete. Priscilla, Glenn, hi. How you doing? Yeah, we're holding on with this storm. So far, so good, although we have the worst ahead of us. Later tonight and very early tomorrow morning, you have two low-pressure systems, actually, one in Chicago, another one right over New York City and near New Jersey. What's happening with that? Well, I'll tell you, there's some thunderstorms, and some of these have become severe just outside of New York City. Will we see thunder in this storm? Yeah, it's a possibility. Later tonight, closer to midnight, down in the Cape especially, and maybe it just materializes as heavy rain. It's really touch and go with the thunderstorm aspect of this forecast. Right now, it's all rain. I know you're looking at this purple going, it must be mixing in Worcester County. Yeah, it's actually not. It's still rain there, too. We anticipate the mix to come in and these temperatures to continue to drop a couple degrees and getting closer to that magical number of 33 or 34 where we'll switch over to some snowflakes. Also, this is huge because in the middle atmosphere, we're warming up, so some of this will fall in the form of sleet. We saw that earlier, the ping-ping on the windshields. Yes, that sleet got into Boston. It was in Worcester as well, many communities. We may see that come back into play tonight, especially if we talk about thunderstorms. Can you imagine a thunderstorm with sleet? It's possible. Now, this is where we're most confident to see that mix later tonight uh, as we go through the course of the storm. And this is through the Merrimack Valley, even getting on to 128 perhaps, down through Reading, Woburn, to Danvers, and Ipswich too. And then uh, as we go through the timeline, you can see a lot of this will hit uh, pre-dawn. And after about 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, most of the intense precip starts to move away. But at that point, too, we drop that rain snow line out of southern New Hampshire and down into central Mass and maybe closer to Boston, too. Even though it may come close to the city, it is not looking like this is an efficient way to accumulate snow. It's late in the season, as we know, so we're going to keep those totals up to an inch, meaning a coating to an inch. And this one to three zone in Drakid, Tingsboro, and down through Groton, and also into Shrewsbury and Worcester. Lunenburg to Hollis, New Hampshire, Nashua two, three to five, Fitchburg as well. Gardner's in that. Elevation helps you out. Look at the higher numbers if you were elevated above 500 feet, and that's your town. And then five to eight, New Ipswich North, and back into Milford, New Hampshire, too. But, you know, we could change over as some wet snowflakes, even in Boston or the North Shore. It's just not looking like that will accumulate at all. So, It'll be like, you know, just kind of getting you bummed out that it's still a touch of winter in the sky. 45 is our wind gust down in southern Connecticut. These winds are starting to ramp up in Boston, 40 miles an hour all across New England. The wind is gusting. This will get worse tonight and into tomorrow morning. Those temperatures bottom out, at least in Boston, in the middle and upper 30s. So very little movement here, but then bounce back close to 40 tomorrow. Raw day, we go through the motions of rain, tapering to scattered showers in the afternoon. So most of that heavy, intense precip will be done by about 7 to 10 a.m. tomorrow. That's key to this forecast as well. More to come. We'll look at the weekend and the big turnaround next week for the eclipse. Stay with us. All right. Well, as the storm continues to move in, Pete, thank you. We want to head outside for a look at those current conditions. NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg is live in Lemonster, where Pete just told us snow is in the forecast. What are the conditions there now, Eli? Snow may be in the forecast, but right now we are seeing a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind, and a small drop in temperatures throughout the day here. We have been seeing a pretty consistent drizzle fall here. If you're like me, you probably had to spend a little bit of time today looking for something you hadn't thought about in a while. That being this, the good old trusty snow shovel. It has been found and proof yet again that Mother Nature is on her own timetable and schedule. When we talk about these storms, we are at the Department of Public Works right now. All quiet here in Lemonster. Crews are at home. They spend some of the day getting ready, getting their trucks ready as well. They're getting some sleep right now. They anticipate a busy night tonight. And all around town today, we found people getting ready. So yeah, come on in. At Romano Greenhouses in Fitchburg. These will flower in six hours of sun or more. They'll just cascade over. Blooming concerns and a buzz of activity. You know, originally I was like, oh no, not again. Neil Zani grows flowers. A lot of people don't realize you can eat the roots. But he also has a hedge. So when he's not here, he's out plowing snow. Uh, either way, white gold <laughs> or green gold. <laughs> Down the road in Lemonster, it's quiet now for these snow plows. April, we're still talking snow. It's New England. <laughs> Not only is this New England, this stretch of Worcester County always seems to bear the brunt of winter weather. But this year hasn't been bad. So even this late in the season, 
the salt pile inventory is ready for anything come tonight. It's April. We're all ready to go out digging, start doing some street work, but you know, we'll take it what we can. You know, we prepare for this stuff all year long. And while this isn't expected to be the biggest storm, Governor Maura Healy says the Commonwealth is prepared. As always, we're in touch with utilities and, you know, making sure that things are in place with respect to, to those issues because we're always worried about flooding and wind and anything that can come um, by way of a storm. Back in the greenhouse where it's always balmy, preparing for what's to come on the outside. It, it's nice to go out and plow and before you put the equipment away and have that last burst of energy that you can invest in plants and in your employees. So there you go. That's a good attitude about what's coming up later tonight into tomorrow. The plan here at DPW, they're going to get some more sleep. They're going to be back at midnight. They tell me it's always that delicate balance. They treat the roads too early with this stuff coming down. It could wash away too late. Things get treacherous. They really think that midnight is the sweet spot, so they're going to be back. The plan is to salt everything, try to stay ahead of things. They are ready with the plows, though, in case they need them. Ivan Lemonster, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston.